and put a couple of splices over there for the new lines after I solder this up I'll put a hanger on that take these apart should have pressure in it from the factory they put pressure in there so if there's no pressure it could be an issue Listen for the pressure release. Listen. Hear it? Oh, that's good. It's holding pressure. That's what we want. We're gonna get this in there. And then I'll, I'll worry about straightening the line out after. bulb this is the TXV it's so hot yesterday I sweated so much like I was completely soaked even down in my wallet all my money turned black in my wallet from sweating that's how bad it was crazy that was bad pretty bad when you the money in your wallet turns black I'm sweating plastic pan here we don't hit it with any hot solder and melt it yeah. once I get this all straight and all that I'll put some hangers on it
check everything with nitrogen anyway. Everything started up and we'll check it. We'll check it for leaks. So I got the filter here and I put a hanger up over there and it's not up next to the roof so I mean you can't put no nails in it. I just swoops right around and right in. It clears the it clears the uh, access port so Alright, so I got this, I extended that piece there and I spun the unit, so I got access to the door before it was, you know, on the other side, so I spun it so I can get access to this one, and the other one get access from the other side. I'm going to have to put a longer whip in or a longer piece of, uh, I got some half inch um, conduit, a little bit longer than that is what I need. It's a little ton and a half. It's a little ton and a half. That's all I need for this unit. All right, we're gonna check it for nights. Check it for weeks. I'm gonna turn this up to. I got the gauges. Gauges should be open. I'm gonna turn this up to a couple hundred pounds. Yeah, two, 250, 300 or something, 275, 300 or something like that. Alright, let's see if we got any leaks. Shut it off here. I'm gonna disconnect it here. Oh, so I got it off there. We're at 300. This one's a little bit. 305. This one's at 300. Give it a little time. See if we got any leaks. In the meantime, I'll get my uh, vacuum down here and start with the vacuum. All right, she's holding steady. Hook up my vacuum pump here. Dump the nitrogen. Hook up my vacuum pump. You blow the gasket out when you do that. I hook up my uh, my vacuum hoses and we'll be good to go. My vacuum hoses on there. With my little shut off so I could shut it off to open up the the valves after. I got my gauge here. Oh, it should.
83. That's a good vacuum. Let me show you what I do here. Well, this is what I do. I got these valves here, right? And I usually get this ready to go. So it can open. Now I'll shut these valves. And I'll open this. Let the refrigerant in. Once you open that, you can shut the pump off. That's how I do it. I mean, you could do a leak down test and all that other bullshit, but if there was a leak, you wouldn't pull a vacuum. If there was a leak, you wouldn't be pulling a vacuum. Pulling a good vacuum like that if I had a leak. Besides, I put a nitrogen test to it. So I just gotta finish the rest of the job and then I can start this thing up and check the charge. Away now. All right, so uh, I got a new whip there. Well, extended the whip. I put some new new wires in there. Number ten. I should have had a red, but I didn't have any red. So that's it. Whipped it right in, taped it. There's a 20 amp uh, breaker in there. There's a 30 in the panel. So this is only this only takes. Maximum is 20. Minimum of 15 amps. So I got a 20 amp breaker there that's protecting it. There's a date. I'm going to put the date here. And, uh, I'll be ready to rock and roll here. I just need to continue. Continue finishing what I'm doing. Am I going to get done today? I'm not sure. Maybe. I'm gonna do the gas pipe, uh, the drain, pick up all my stuff. Probably be a late day for me. Yo, know, this one's facing this way, and the other one's facing that way, so I could access that one through there and access this one through here. This is for us, and that's second. And I did put that plastic. See that plastic piece, 10 in, 10 feet. To get the the condensate is gonna come in here and then dump out there on the other end, because this is always wet here, because it was dumping right here. So we're gonna get the condensate away, so this will dry out before the moss was growing and everything. So I kind of lined the backs up. Uh, you know that one's a little smaller it's a ton and a half it's a three ton We're like 10 inches or so 12 inches from the house it's fine I got a good 16 inches between them electrical came over to a junction box came over here with this put a switch power still off downstairs but that'll be on that'd be off I have a I have a plug right there so I don't need another plug and then the low voltage I still have to do the overflow switches then I could hook up the low voltage it's coming along then I got to do the gas pipe and the drain but I'm coming along I'm gonna do next I'm gonna do the PVC tie these low voltage in and then I'll do the gas pipe 
I'm gonna do the gas pipe. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that yet. I'm probably gonna come wrap around and put a hanger here or something. That's kind of a long run. I'll put a hanger off the off the unit somehow. Flipping hot up here. I'm sweating again. Got a overflow switch there. I came down with a trap to a T for a vent. I ran over and I tied the drain in. Now you don't really need a trap because this is a furnace and it's blowing out, but I put it anyway. Uh, gotta got a clean out there so we could check it. And this this is loose, so this could be popped out if I had to. I got a float switch here. And I got the two wires. Put some foil up underneath coming up here. The two safeties. And then I got the condenser. And I got the wires for the thermostat. I'm gonna show you how I'll wire it. How to wire it wire it for low voltage. So I got these two safeties. I got a I got this plug here. The one inch plug on the bottom glued in there. So it's not gonna drain out. This this will shut it off. This and then that one will shut it off also. Two safeties. I did put the um the bulb on there. I just gotta get a little piece of insulation and then I could wrap it with that that wrap. Less steps the better. So what we got here we got a common which is the C. We got a red, a yellow which is the condenser. And then we got green is fan and white is heat. Alright, so this thermostat does have a common. And I'm going to use the blue for the common. And the common's got to go out for the condenser too. Common and yellow go into the condenser. Okay, so. On this here. Red. Red goes to red. That's going to feed the, uh, the thermostat, the red power to the thermostat. The blue is going to be the common for the thermostat. And, um, the red on this one is going to be the common for the condenser. Pull the coil in outside. So the common's going to the thermostat and to the condenser. The other one there is going to be yellow. Yellow from the thermostat is going to go to yellow. And then one of these lines is going to be the other yellow. So we're going to go yellow to black here. I'm going to feed through. I'm going to feed through um, both switches. Both safety switches are going to feed through one one line. And that's going to that's going to drop out the condenser outside in case there's a problem. I'm going to shut the outside unit off. Alright, so we're gonna go yellow to black here. Yellow to black here on one of the switches. We're gonna tie these two together. And then this black, or this yellow, is gonna go to yellow on the condenser, uh, yellow on the board. So when the 
thermostat calls, it's going to send power back on yellow, which is going to come back to this as like a dead terminal. So we're going to just use that as a, uh, a landing ground for the yellow. Alright, so the, the yellow, when it calls for cooling, it sends power up the yellow. And it's going to go through the, through the two switches. I got it tied in there. Then this black is going to get tied in with the yellow, um, the white here going out for the condenser. That's going to be, that's going to shut the condenser off. If any of them switches open, it's going to shut the condenser off. Okay. Then the other two is green and white. There we go here. There's the green. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it's fucking dark up here. There's the green. That's the fan. Power for the fan. When the cooling calls, it sends power up to the fan and to the yellow for cooling. When it runs for heat, it sends power up to the white, and the white's got a delay, and then the fan cam comes on, on the, on the white, on the fan pot, for the heat. Alright, so I got the white. White is white, that's the heat. The green is for the fan. Yellow is for the cooling. Um, through the two safety switches and then out to the condenser. And then I got the other line going to the condenser as a common and a common for the thermostat. Okay? That's it. Very simple. All I have to do is the gas pipe now and then this thing's ready to rock. So you get ready to rock and roll, mama. As soon as I turn the power on, I'll be ready to go. All right, I gotta do the gas pipe now. I gotta finish the gas pipe and that little bit of covering, and then I'm ready to go. I brought some gas pipe up here. so hot yesterday, I sweated so much, it's completely soaked. Alright, so that's gonna be a that's gonna be a go-to spot there. 45, so I'm put a hanger. And these are what the drive screws look like. You just bang them in with a hammer called drive screws. And then my side beam hangers so and the rod goes into it. And that's a, that's gonna carry the, the pipe. I put a union here. I got it on heat mode, so as soon as I turn that switch, the heat should come on. I just have to put this other. I usually put two per hanger. All right, I'm gonna do is turn this on and the power should come on. It should come on for heat mode. I did turn this valve on. Open up that, open up that gas cork. Should fire up and it's gonna smoke up the place a little bit. After that, I'll put it on cooling mode. I'm just gonna run the heat for a bit here. What's this dangerous shit all about? Use the cab ignition. Might have to put a CO detector up here or downstairs or something. I gotta put one somewhere. Let that run for a bit. In the meantime, I'll take some of my tools out of here. I put the 
date right there. Off this thermostat because it's bigger than the one I have and it's newer. So we'll leave it. Smoking carbon. That'll cover me. Bathroom there and a bathroom here. <laughs> All right, we're going to shut it off the heating mode for now. I'm gonna go to cooling in a minute. I gotta go back, go back to heat, and I gotta set that back down to 70, 72, I guess, and then the cooling, cooling set at 75. We'll shut that off for now. So I get my shit picked up and get down there. Alright, we're gonna run it on cooling and check the unit outside. Alright, you can see our sub cool. That should be about 9 to 11. Superheat splits being regular with a TXV 152 on the suction. It's fine. Probably gonna have to add a little bit. We're at 9, 10 on the sub cooling. 15 on the super heat, that's being regulated with the TXV. Uh, 156 on the suction is good, it's 410A, and um, 